What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today I'm going to go over a quick fix for a huge mistake I see a lot of therapists make, especially newer therapists. And this is a mistake that can absolutely shorten your career as a massage therapist, as well as just cause yourself more pain and more work in the long run. So I want to start off by taking a look at a few massage holds and a few strokes here. So let's take a look at this one. Besides that our client Bob is probably below the healthy BMI. How about this one? Okay, good, and one more. Let's take a look at this. So it all looked pretty good. The back was straight, the legs were spread, bending those knees, the forearm was being used to get that deeper pressure and save our hands and our thumbs, but there was a huge glaring mistake in all of those, and that was when it came time to use the forearm, my hand was gripped solid and my wrist was very tight. This is a huge mistake because the whole point of using your forearms is to save your wrists, to save your hands, to save your thumbs. So when you come in to do a massage and you come into the pressure and you use that forearm but then you're gripping tight with your wrist or you're keeping your hand extended, that's not really giving your wrist a break, is it? And over the course of hundreds and thousands of hours of massage, when you're constantly gripping your wrist like that, you're not only causing tension in your flexor muscles here, but that's going to start to close your carpal tunnel canal, that's going to cause fasciitis issues in your palm. It's not really giving the wrist and hands that much needed rest that you're supposed to get from using the forearm. So it's a really simple fix to do, it's simply about reminding yourself to relax when doing the massage. And that's you're gonna come into the massage and you're just gonna drop that wrist. So I'm using pressure with my forearm, with my elbow, but this wrist is soft, it's mobile. I'm not holding it up, but rather I'm just letting it drop. And that's giving a lot of relief and a nice rest period for your flexors, your extensors, and all of the muscles that would normally become overworked or become painful or tight. So when you're using your forearms and your elbows in these sessions, that's a really great job, but make sure that when you do come in with it, just relax your wrists, both sides. Doesn't matter if you're using your flexors, if I'm coming in with the extensors, my wrist is still relaxed. And this way, you're going to increase the longevity of your tools by a large margin. It's a really simple fix, guys, but it's a huge, very common mistake I see a majority of therapists do, especially when they start. So try it out, and hopefully that helps you out during your own sessions. I know this was a quick tip video, so thank you for watching, guys. I hope it helped you out. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.